Welcome back to the Iglesia de Cristo International Edition, wherein today we're talking about the real reason the Iglesia de Cristo spends on houses of worship. We left off asking, well, just how strict really is the Church of Christ when it comes to the use of voluntary contributions being given by the members? Brothers, can you give us any insight on that? Just how well is that monitored? Well, Brother Bob, the insight actually we can read here in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and the verse is 40. But all things should be done with regard to decency and propriety and in an orderly fashion. Now notice in the verse that we just read, it mentions propriety. Propriety refers to behavior that is socially and morally correct and proper. That's why, brothers, when it comes to offerings, there can be no room for anomalies. Those, of course, have to be avoided. They have to be prevented. So, Brother Glenn, how's that done? Well, once again, the Bible will answer that question in Acts chapter 16, 4 to 5. As they went through the towns, they delivered to the believers the rules decided upon by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem, and they told them to obey those rules. So the churches were made stronger in the faith and grew in numbers every day. So inside the Church of Christ, God has placed a church administration that was given the authority to set up to strictly implement rules that must be strictly followed. And I'm sure, brothers, that all of us would agree that inside the Iglesia Ni Cristo, there are many strict rules being strictly implemented and strictly followed in the finance department of the church, which guarantees that the proper care and use of the offerings are being well used. The offerings that were wholeheartedly given by the members are being uh, taken care of. Oh, absolutely. Every, every detail is meticulously uh, accounted for. That's why the members are uh, confident when it comes to their giving of their voluntary offerings. They can see the, they can see the visible proof, and we've been showing it on, uh, throughout the program today, all the visible proof, the, the, the chapels, the arena, all the things that the, can only come into existence because of the offerings of God's people. Proving what? That these offerings are being properly managed and used only for their intended purpose. And of course, that purpose for the greater glory and honor of our Almighty God. So, we invite you, dear friends, our viewers today in this program, to find out even more concerning the Iglesia Ni Cristo. And to do so, you can go to the closest congregation of the church in your area to hear so much more about the teachings of God that we uphold here inside the Church of Christ. And you can find a full directory on incmedia.org. Also, you can join us in our congregational worship services. We'd like to thank our brother Joji Chrysostomo in Washington, D.C. there, and Brother Glenn David there on uh, Down Under, as they call it, Brother Glenn there in uh, Australia, for giving us Bible-based answers. So that as Apostle Peter said to the members of the church, you'll be ready to speak up and tell anyone who asks why you are living the way you are. 1 Peter 3.15 Well, that does it for us here on the Iglesia Ni Cristo International Edition for today. We hope you'll join us again next time. This is Bob Pauline. Thanks for watching. But before we go, we invite you first to join us for a short closing prayer. Our loving Father in heaven, yes, Lord. we are so thankful unto you, dear God, yes. for being with us in our panel discussion at this moment. Yes, Lord. And we pray, O oh dear Father, that the message continue to be spread to the people of this world, especially our loved ones and televiewers, O oh dear Father, yes, Lord. that they may continue to be enlightened to know your words of truth yes, Lord. that will lead them to their salvation. Amen. May you please continue to bless the success of this program, dear Father. Please, Lord. May it continue to reach the far corners of the earth, O Lord, yes. so that all the more people will have the opportunity to know your words of truth, yes, Lord. that they too may also glorify your most holy name. Amen. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, yes, Lord. 
May yes. you please take our prayers to our loving Father in heaven. Yes, Lord. And may he continue to have mercy upon our loved ones and televiewers, Lord Jesus, Amen. that they too may embrace the truth that you give to each one of us yes. whenever we study your holy words. Amen. Father, above us all, continue to bless the church administration. Yes, Lord. Continue to bless our beloved executive minister, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. Yes. Continue to pour unto him the long life, the power of wisdom coming from you. Yes, Lord. So that he may continue to lead us to the day of our salvation. Amen. God, it is our humble prayer that you have heard us, dear Lord. Yes, Lord. And you have forgiven us from all the many sins that we have done. Yes. yes. These we pray, O God in heaven, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.